right, first things first. Val. Val. <laughs> Val sent me a comment on my uh, one of my videos that I where I was cutting this out and I made it that ugly blue that she happened to like. However, I don't think she really liked it. Um, <laughs> but she did say, um, "Did I cut this out for the belly?" Well, not really. However, it does come in handy. And it gives me room for expansion. <laughs> now, the, really, the real reason why I cut this out was when I put this up, this was just one big piece that I had gotten Chris across the street had given me this. Uh, it looked like it was just a, a homemade door um, at that point. Let's wait for that to shut down. Yeah, originally Chris across the street had given me this uh, and it looked like it was just a piece well it is it's a piece of thin plywood uh, looks like maybe two pieces no just one piece um, and it looks like they just kind of put it together to make a like a homemade door out of it in the in the in the barn back there uh, and behind the shop, he has a little barn as well. And you know, they made a door. They have this. They frame it up, and they just make it a door. Uh, you know, and uh, they started doing a lot of cleanup back there and such. Uh, so, are we connected? We are. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. So, when I had gotten it, as well as uh, some. Uh, what you call it board as well, but meanwhile I Said wait a minute now that the stove is out of here This would be a nice little place to just make a little bench with some shelves for storage And that's what I started to do and then the more I got the bench down or the top down uh, I started to realize well, it's way the hell out here Well with that out here even without the manly belly here, <laughs> the, the, the peanut butter vanilla and strawberry vanilla ice cream, uh, I can't reach the back wall, even if I push it in. So as nice as it was to have that big counter, um, I couldn't use the back wall. So I couldn't put anything on it uh, as far as shelving. And I wanted to keep as much counter as possible. So by cutting this out, it allowed me to keep this. But see, right now, this is all being used. If I was to cut that right across, where would these be? You follow me? So, I and where would the camera be? Because there's another one on that side with a camera sitting like this. So this was the best way for me to get up to the wall and utilize everything back there um, without cutting it right across and losing all the space. It's a coincidence, however, that it kind of fits. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, that was part of the reasoning for this. I forgive you, Val. I know she was only no she was only kidding. She hasn't got a mean bone in her body. Well, I don't know about that. We'd have to talk to Steve off to the side to find out. Because you gotta remember she's an old army brat too, so well I'm sorry, not army. Marines. Okay, so this is going to go there like that. I'm, I'm assuming, assuming, now if that goes there like that, I can probably just put this right here like this. Now if I do that, 
this has to be moved a little bit right to there. And this can be on a little bit of a gizmo right about there. But this has got to be closer to this side. So that's where it's got to go, right about there. See, what happens is, even though you may not want to admit it, but for the most part, if you have any type of a hairdo, even if you were bald, I guess it would still happen. My father-in-law was partially bald. My past ex-father-in-law, George. Um, but anyway, what happens is, see this little green? Well, that green, what, if there's a piece of bare wire there someplace, which there is where I soldered it to the speaker, by it hanging on the back of my ear and the hair, naturally you tend to sweat a little bit without realizing that you're actually sweating because it doesn't drip, you know, uh, but it's moist back there. Uh, and if you have a higher acid content to your body, that's going to do it, and it goes, starts eating away at the wire. Now, I thought I had put the wire in enough, but apparently when I was turning it to put it over my ear, uh, it pulled out a little bit, and it started to turn green. Now, eventually that would have come right up the wire, and the wire would have gotten real hard, uh, and it would have started just to wreck the wire because it would have traveled. So it was easier for me to open it up and spray it, which I had done, with the tuner cleaner. And then I put some lubricant spray in there. Uh, and then I glued the crap out of it and stuck it all back in. And I stuck this down in about an inch and a half. So this is down... So this is down inside there, so even if you pull on it, you know, even, and it's glued from the inside as well. However, I want to have this on there somehow. So this is going to be holding it to my ear and not the wire, but the wire is going to be following it. So I have to figure out a way to get this attached to where I need it so that it's going to fit on the ear at the same time. And that's what I'm trying to do, get everything lined up. So, and without dropping it. Okay, so if that goes there, see that's a good spot right where it is. And that wire, just the way it is. So that, basically, just like that. That's what I need. Now, do I have a pencil? Yes, I do. I'm just going to make a light mark here that I can just wipe off with a little Windex. I could have used paper. There. Get the wire up here. Get this over here. I got to get in the yard a little bit today. Uh, there's a few little things I want to do real quick. Okay, so if that's where the wire is, and that's where it goes in, and this is where I want it to be. I can put this over here more to give me some support. <sighs> My towel is falling apart. And still have where I need it. So that's kind of where it can go. Now, how to get it there, and I want it on the inside a little bit. Let's put this down here, and let's put this right here. So somehow or rather, I got to get this in here. Uh, it's not giving me a whole lot of room here. I wonder, see all it's giving me is about that much, about a half inch maybe of this, 
if I wanted to heat it up and kind of melt it into the plastic a little bit. But it's still going to have the option of doing this, which means eventually it's going to do that and come right out. So that's really not going to be the way to go. So what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? Let me help you guys up a little bit. There you go. I noticed when I was doing something yesterday, I had you guys here, and I'm here, and all you're seeing is the back of my hand. But, you know, I'm good at these things, you know, uh, not showing, because sometimes I'll have the camera facing, uh, where I think it is, and meanwhile I'm looking over here someplace. So what are you looking at? Nothing. Oh, you guys ever see these around? I have a lot of these around. Um, they make them for different phones, for different types of plugs and such. Um, this will go into one of the newer phones, like the newer Samsungs. The Apple, I think, is the same shape, but a little bit smaller. This would be like some of the older ones. But what you do is you can plug this into the bottom of your phone where the cable would go for charging uh, and you can plug an SD drive into it so if there's something that you wanted to have uh, to show somebody that's not going to fit into the phone nor do you want to put it on the phone you can have it on an SD card plug this in the bottom of the phone plug your SD card into it show what you got to show and then you can just unplug it again and put it in your pocket and everything's hun uh, but, but hunky dory Copacetic. So this one here fits this phone. Eh. Now I got, like I said, I got a bunch of these, um, and I usually in my, I used to keep one out here as well, a thumb drive in my pocket. Um, but I always keep a thumb drive in my pocket when I am out. But if I'm out, like going to tractor supply, looking like a farmer. Um, and I'm not knocking farmers, the hard-working people, um, for very little credit. But anyway, um, I always have one with me. So I wanted to see if my wife, Darlene, wanted one. And uh, she has a good idea, but she doesn't really see a need for it. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but anyway, all right, let's put the phone back here. Let's get back to here. I don't want to start drifting off anywhere. Uh, so that's got to go about like that. Now, I could possibly, it may not look right. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, maybe, maybe, hold on. I got these. This is stainless, so that might be okay. Stick enough. I have another one, but it's a little thicker. Uh, it's used when you're uh, when you're rigging a um, a mooring. You uh, need to put these on the shackles. You got to wire them. Otherwise, the wave going up and down all the time will, believe it or not, unscrew the pin. So you have to put wire through it to make sure. So anyway, long story short, we're talking about it. Bonnie was using this. To, she made something with this. And uh, I said, you know what? I don't want to get into making what she was making. I don't remember what she made, but it was really nice. Um, up in upstate New York, Bonnie. Um, but I said, I can use that wire, you know, maybe 
if I wanted to ever get into these little dioramas, which apparently I'm never going to have time to do that. Uh, so uh, I bought this wire. It's been hanging over there. So, all right. So here's what I'm thinking with this. I can put this around here because this is threaded here as well as inside. But I can put this around here. Tighten it up so it'll stay on. And then bend it around. And I may even be able to get this off here because this turns. So if I straighten this off, I can probably pull that out. And that's what I'm thinking here, guys. So let's get a piece of this off here. Uh, oh, and I gotta check something. Ray sent me an email. I called Ray yesterday because I was asking him about the um, the uh, switch to see if he had had one. And he was kind of asking me why does it have to be so damn, you know, ready to fit. I told him the only way we could do something different is if we were to uh, add a small box to it, which I actually have over there. I put one together yesterday. It's on, it's on film. Um, I says, but uh, if somebody's going to be putting this in and out of their pocket, this is not a good idea. I says, and there's no room to put it in the box that it belongs in. Okay, so we're going to take this here. Turn this here. Let's just this a little twist here. Let me get a pair of something so I can tighten that up. Nicey, nicey. Uh, the best thing to do would be get a small pair of needle nose vice grips or something. They're up in the front of the radio room. But these will work. These are small enough. Get these on here, hopefully. Yeah. And if I turn this down like this. See, that's tightening right up right there. There we go. All right. So now we have that. Now, I want to cut that. I don't want it quite that long because I don't want it sticking me in the ear either. Now, it's not going to be, this is going to be on the ear part. So that's not even going to be behind the ear. It's going to be on the outside. I don't want it to get caught on anything. Well, so let me go that way. I really don't want to use my radio room stuff because when you're clipping little radios, wires, you really need a good pair of clippers. So you don't want to ruin them by clipping something that can ruin them. And these are these cheap Chinese things. Even though they're showing <coughs> completely closed, uh, apparently this little piece of wire is stronger than that. Okay. Good. Now what I'm also going to do Let's put some, uh, let's turn this a little bit. There you go. There. All right. Okay. Let me put it back over here for a minute because I want to put a little solder on it. Just to kind of help hold it a little bit. So let's turn on the old solder iron here. Hopefully that'll get hot enough. One thing at a time here, guys. Let's take 
care of me. I want to get it hot enough to take a little solder, but not so hot that it starts to melt everything. I think we got enough there. Yeah, okay. Put a little solder on this thing. this little end up here a little bit. We don't have any way of getting anything caught on it. Like a like a hangnail, you know, it's just hiding there, waiting to catch something. However, hmm. for the dark handle cutters. Da 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 put the wag back over there. Hey baby. Hey bud. Do what you're supposed to do and do the laundry and stop breaking my stones. And she says, Get out of here before I kick you in the ass. Oh. The nerve. Actually, I can take a little bit more of that off. I don't need all that on there. I'm going to end up cutting more off anyway. This should slide right over that. Hey, hey, hey. Slid right over it. Oh boy, am I gonna do good. Okay, now let's take this whole thing and bring it over here. Hopefully. There. Alright. Okie dokie. So now this is flexible enough. For me to flex, but yet stiff enough to hold it where I need it to be held. Okay. Now. Cut that. I'm going to try to cut it. With these. I'm going to slide this up. Cut that. Now. What am I going to do here, you ask? A little bit of heat shrink. I don't think the red is going to fit over this. No. I do have one that will, but... Okay, this one will. Okay. And I want that. A little room right there so I can pinch it.
Yeah.